Hello people! Welcome to the POP YouTube channel. Leonardo DiCaprio and Camilo Moroni call it quits. The Titanic star 47 on the Model 25 have broken up after 4 years of dating. If you want more celebrity news content, plenty of pop fan, subscribe to the POP YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. E! News has contacted Leo and Camilo's reps but they have not commented publicly. In December 2017, Leo and Camilo were first linked when Leo was spotted leaving Camilo's home in Los Angeles. That same month, the pair spent the holidays together in Colorado with longtime friend Toby McGuire and his two children, Ruby, 15, and Otis, 13. The pair attended the Oscars together in February 2020. In July 2019, a news insider revealed to people that DiCaprio and Moroni seemed pretty serious. It is definitely not a casual relationship. Camilla spent a lot of time at his house. Camilla is long known as Leo's girlfriend, and Leo introduced her to both of his parents long ago. On June 2020, a source said that DiCaprio was close with Moroni as they were together 24-7 during the pandemic lockdown. The source added that they had become very close. DiCaprio and Moroni were photographed together at a beach in Malibu over the 4th of July. In August, they were seen in St. Chopez with their mother. DiCaprio was pictured out to dinner with friends last week in Los Angeles. Sources confirmed the split, but no reason was given for why they split up. About two months previously, the first semblance of tension became apparent. On May 27, actors DiCaprio and Moroni were seen on the beach in Malibu sharing a deep conversation. According to the paparazzi, the Wolf of Wall Street star appeared to listen intently and kept his eyes turned downward while the Death Wish actress made a furrowed facial expression. With this latest dry spell ending, the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood star has been seen in a pattern of not publicly dating women over 25. Rumors are surfacing that DiCaprio and Moroni have grown apart recently. According to a source, Leo and Camilla ended the relationship over the summer. There are no bad feelings between them, it just came to a natural conclusion. With a senior by 22 years, Oscar-winning actor Leonardo DiCaprio was first introduced to Camilla in 2008 when she was only 12. When they were together, they also went on a number of vacations around the world. But their last public appearance was in September of 2021 at the US Open. Though Leo and Camilla were typically very private about their relationship, the two took it to another level when attending Coachella together. In photos, they appeared to be holding hands and nuzzling one another while sitting on Leo's lap. For the last year, according to a source, they have been inseparable and were very much in love with one another. They had gotten to know each other's families and they loved being together. In 2019, Camilla addressed the backlash surrounding differences in age between her and Leo. The Los Angeles Times interviewed Camilla about this in December 2019, saying that there are so many relationships in Hollywood and in the history of the world where people have large age gaps. She told the interviewer that anyone should be able to date who they want to date. She also said it was very frustrating for her to only be known for her association with Leonardo DiCaprio. She stated that she does not want to be just defined by who she's dating. She also stated that she believes this association will continue to slip away over time and become less of a conversation topic. It isn't clear when the couple officially broke up, but Leo has been spotted on his own in Europe with no sign of Camilla this summer. A photo was taken off the actor in July when he was on a yacht in St. Tropez. Page Six exclusively learned that time that he, along with fellow Posey Posse member Toby McGuire and Khloe Kardashian's former boyfriend Tristan Thompson, spent time together with a group of models at a party thrown by Rich Akiva, a nightlife mogul. Before dating the 25-year-old, the Don't Look Up star dated another woman with large age gaps. These women include Barr Faley and Blake Lively, among others. His longtime friend Al Pacino, who had dated Camilla's mother, Lucila Sola, for years, made the introductions. And Leonardo apparently remained friends with the family for years. DiCaprio and Moroni officially became a couple sometime in 2017, 
Following his breakup with model Nina Adal just days before the Cannes Film Festival, although representatives for both initially denied that they were together, Maroni next acts in the upcoming Prime Video limited series Daisy Jones and the Six, which is an adaptation of Taylor Jenkins Reid's 2019 work. DiCaprio works together again with director Martin Scorsese for 2023's Killers of the Flower Moon movie. It is based on David Grant's 2017 book. They raised their profile the following year when they attended Ellen DeGeneres' birthday party together. They were later seen showing off some PDA at Coachella. People said in 2018 that the relationship had become serious and the two were very in love and serious and talked about getting engaged. Despite the criticism, Camilla and Leo did not let it deter them in their love. They attended the 2020 Academy Awards together and arrived separately but they sat next to each other during the ceremony. They have been seen together on many occasions, including in January of 2022 when they were seen playing in the ocean while holding hands while they were in safe parts. A source claimed that Leo has never loved another girl like Camilla, even having considered having children with her. Leo's commitment to staying private about his personal life was tested when both he and Camilla had films premiering at the Cannes Film Festival. They represented their movie and their film at once, but they did not walk together on the red carpet and they did not identify each other as their respective partners. In 2008, when Leo's friend Al Pacino was having a birthday party in NYC, he introduced Leo to Camilla. They were seen together in 2020. In summer 2019, Camilla reminded her fans of Leo's penchant for dating young women. She posted a romantic photo of Humphrey Bogart and his much younger wife, Lauren Bacon. A love like this, she wrote, though many fans criticized her for dating a much older man. My god, people are so mean and full of anger with people that they know nothing about, she wrote in her Instagram stories in an answer to the issue. I guess I just hope on this Friday that people learn to live with a little less hatred and place their time and interest elsewhere. Because living without hatred feels pretty good. They continue their pattern of walking the red carpet separately, but they did make their first public appearance as a couple when they sat next to each other at the Oscar ceremony in 2020. In December, E! News reported they had taken a major step by moving in together. Throughout 2022, the couple was seen looking affectionate to one another and being reported as strongly connected. DiCaprio was seen taking the dogs that Camilla had fostered on walks by himself, suggesting to his friends he sees himself as their parent as much as she does. By June, a number of pictures had emerged of Moroni on a beach outing. It was also seen that Leonardo DiCaprio and Al Pacino, who is Camilla's stepfather even after his recent divorce, with their mother were in attendance. Though they were seen together in January, the famous power couple has not been spotted together since July 3, the last confirmed sighting of them. Amy Schumer joked about the age difference at the Oscars in March, but she revealed that Leo and Camilla were both fine with the joke. At the Academy Awards this year, co-host Amy Schumer mentioned Leonardo DiCaprio's love of only dating young women. In a funny tone, she joked, He's done so much to fight climate change and leave behind a cleaner, greener plan for his girlfriends. When she explained the joke in April on the Howard Stern show, Schumer told him that he did not mind her ribbing. She shared, he said, go ahead, they did not care. And his girlfriend Cammy is the, she's actually the coolest B you will meet. On Tuesday, Leo was spotted having lunch with some of his guy friends at Il Buco in New York City. He was dressed to stay under the radar with a plain t-shirt and low-key cargo shorts. While wearing a gray NBA cap, the actor sported black trainers. He visited the bar while wearing a mask to protect against the novel coronavirus. A Ukrainian model named Maria Bergova has been linked to Leo DiCaprio, according to Daily Mail. She may have dated the actor last summer and pictures from a year ago might have just surfaced now. DiCaprio recently broke up with ex-girlfriend Camilla Moroni, but it is not clear whether the breakup was due to the meeting with Maria Berigova. The most malicious of sources say that DiCaprio would only date women under 25 years old.
The breakup with Camila Moroni followed suit after the woman's 25th birthday. Leo never married and Maria Berigova appears to have a divorce behind her. From 1995 to 1997, he dated model Kristen Zhang. Then in 2000, he met the Brazilian supermodel Giselle Bunchen, and their relationship lasted until 2005. He has been engaged to Israeli model Bar Philly from 2005 to 2011. In 2013, he was engaged to Tony Garn. It lasted until May 2014. He also dated Blake Lively in 2011. From December 2017, August 2022, he is in a relationship with Camila Moroni, daughter of the Argentinian actress Matilde Moroni and former partner of Al Pacino. Leonardo DiCaprio is a highly active environmentalist who supports the Democratic Party. He attended John Kerry's 2004 campaign for president in Los Angeles and Battery Park, New York. In 2019, he bought an offshore island off the coast of Belize in order to build an eco resort. In 2014, he purchased the Dinosaur Residence designed by architect Donald Wexler in Palm Springs, California, a project close friends since childhood, including actors Toby McGuire, Kevin Connolly, and Lucas Haas. DiCaprio has a strong friendship with fellow Titanic co star. Kate Winslet so much so that he attended her third wedding in December 2012 and was chosen as the godfather of her third child. In January 2016, during filming of Before the Flood, a documentary by Fisher Stevens, Edward Norton saved the actor's life. Since Leo has not been in a relationship with someone over the age of 25, since 1999, when he began dating Giselle, things are usually pretty rocky when it comes to him being romantically involved with someone after the age of 25. When his woman friends hit the quarter century mark, problems arise and Leo is ready to make more headlines with his next younger thing. Moroni joins the list of famed actresses who ended up with their hearts broken by DiCaprio. By 23, Leo had already started dating Giselle. The two split up when she was 23 years old. He was with Barra Philly when she was 20 to 25. Leo reportedly does not want to get married and settle down, as women typically do by the age of 25. By the time girls reach 25, they are looking for more. They are looking to get married and settle down. That is not what Leo wants. He does not want a family and does not want to be around women who may press him for that. The minute a girl meets him, the clock is ticking. If she gets too old in a couple of years, she's gone. If she gets too close in a couple of years, she's gone. He has gotten older but his days has not gotten any older. In the movie Days and Confuse, Matthew McConaughey's character famously says, I get older, they stay the same age. DiCaprio's track record has been a topic worth talking about on Twitter. The girl Leonardo DiCaprio will dump when he is 72 was born today. According to netizen, nettled another of the actor's iconic 1997 role, Titanic turns 25 this year at which point I assume Leonardo DiCaprio will no longer want to be in it. After his relationship with Bunchen ended, DiCaprio started dating Sports Illustrated model Bar Philly. It has been said that the choice not to go to the Met Ball led to their split. DiCaprio met 23-year-old Blake Lively in 2011, through which he traveled the world after turning 35. From 2013 to 2017, their age gap ranged from 38 to 42. They dated model Tony Garn, Baywatch remake star Kelly Rohrbach, and swimsuit supermodel Nina Agdal. Everything always seemed smooth with these relationships and reports that the often breakups were amicable. Also true to form, Agdal left him soon after turning 25. DiCaprio met model Moroni through fellow Hollywood wolf Al Pacino. Pacino dated Moroni's mom, Lucila Solo, for 10 years. Pacino's women keep getting younger too. He is currently dating Nor Alfalo, who is 28. Heidi Fleisch, a former Hollywood madame and who frequently talks about the older men who like to date younger women, also happened to know Leo from his infancy. Her late pediatrician father and Leo's dad, writer George DiCaprio, were friends. Heidi is on Team Leo. Good for him. 
I am on his side. He connects with women who are young and beautiful. He wants people who stimulate him mentally and physically, said Fleisch. Why does he need to be with some woman who has been through the ringer, who is desperate to get what she can out of him and wants to tie him down? She added, there is something to be said for going out with people who are happy with themselves and excited about life, who can turn you on to new things and ideas that you may not already know about. Fleisch continued that it is not a sexist matter. Look at Jade Fonda. She said that if she gets involved with another guy, he will be a younger guy. Although one thing that some people do not agree with is the persistent May or December look that DiCaprio is going for. And that's it for this video, Plenty of Pop Fan. Remember to subscribe to our channel for all the latest celebrity news and gossip. It is like candy you can't stop eating. We will cover what celebrities are wearing, who is dating who and not dating anymore. It is hard to keep up with the recent happenings in their lives. We will satisfy your gossip fix daily. Comment below if there's a celebrity in particular you want us to cover or a juicy news tip you would like to share.